And there she is. Nice. I've been running interference for you around here. I don't think anyone's caught on to our little campaign. Yet. You, you keep saying that. <laughs> I am expecting that yet to become someone has found out. Eventually. But I got the fragment. Another piece of glory. Good work, shield sister. Uh. Do you have any other work for me? And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlac's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He's asked to see you. My advice? Always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Exactly. When you have a big heavy weight swinging around your upper body, your lower body has to compensate. Or you'll fall right over. Like I said, Ayala. I don't think there's a single person in this building that actually understands stealth. <laughs> Although she comes close, I think. I never thought they would actually let me join the companions. But now it looks like they're letting anyone in these days. Why, thank you for the vote of confidence. I don't really care, honestly. This is a means to an end. You look troubled. What's going on? Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me? Yes, youngling. Have a seat. All right. I hear you've been busy of late. Uh, maybe a bit. Ayala and I have been working to avenge Skior's death. Your hearts are full of grief, and my own weeps at the loss of Skior. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. The cycle of retaliation may continue for some time. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? You know, I don't think I have. Skior said it was a blessing from Hircine. Aye, that sounds like him. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. Right. And I suppose you have the truth, then. The Companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the Witches of Glenmoral Coven. If the Companions would hunt in the name of their Lord Hircine, we would be granted great power. <laughs> And nobody thought that maybe making a pact with a Forsworn Coven might... They became werewolves, of course. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. But you are more powerful now, are you not? The witches didn't lie, of course, but it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies, it seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hircine for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity, and that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. So you're looking for a way to cure yourself, I suppose. Have you found one? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. 
and bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. I see. And what if I don't wish to remove this blessing? This is not about your desires, lass. Your own fate will be your own choice, just as always. Now be gone. There's no way he knows. Well, this is nice. There's no way he knows what he just asked me to do. And I'm certain he doesn't know why I don't want to do it. The Glenmora Weird is well respected. I can't just go in and wipe them out. Well, this is great. What am I going to do? This is a means to an end. I suppose I could just walk away now and not... not do anything. But... Of course, then they would know, probably, if the feathers and the gauntlets weren't enough of a hint. Right, what I'm going to do now is sleep. Don't look at me like that. I don't remember which bed was mine. Probably doesn't matter. Great. Well, they must have been up late. A new day. Still no idea how to handle this. Perhaps I'll try to talk to one of them. I doubt he'll listen to me. Not only am I dressed in very Nordic... Maybe they'll see the feathers and actually know. Where's Crook? you are. I've missed you. <laughs> Let's go see what we can do about a curse, apparently. To hear Codlack say it anyway. If 
I were the type to be insulted by that, I would be insulted. But I'm just going to let it be. He's an old man. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Actually, I call myself a witch, and you're going to have to find some other way to stroke your ego. I won't take no for an answer. All right. Never should have come here. Somebody help! Ah! Fight. Lucky. Ah! It's no fun unless you fight me with magic. Ah! It's no fun unless you fight me with magic. Get him. Get him. I thought you were a wizard. Hit me with a mercy. Someone do something. Oh! I did say that you were going to have to find some other way to stroke your ego, didn't I? And now look at you. You may want to clean that up. Bastard. Man thinks he can come up to a little girl and pick on her like that. Huh. You picked the wrong girl. Right. Can I remember how to actually get to... They're down there somewhere. Well, this is going to be a long walk, but... I have been down that way before. Alright, Crook, let's go. people. Right. I should be smart about this. Especially because there are wolves around. And probably worse. Now, if I can remember which way to go here. Right up that way, I think. not. I might have gone around the other way because that is a bandit camp. Although... I like that spot. right on the ridge between all of this and the ridge. Someday, maybe. Not today. Today I have to figure out what I'm going to do about these witches. And also about Codlac. Because... Ah, yes. <laughs> 
Because... Not only are the Glenmoral weird... Well respected, but they could also be... Allies from Madanach, I think. Well, I know one thing. I'm not going to walk in dressed like this. I'm going to walk in dressed like this. Which is arguably... colder but more comfortable. Yes, Crook? <laughs> right. Well, I know one thing. I need one head. I'm going to talk first. But if that doesn't work... Well, if that doesn't work, either I die or one of them does. I don't intend to take more than one. And I hope they forgive me if I do. They probably won't. Perhaps I should hope that her scene forgives me if I do. Right. I'm not going to draw my sword yet. But I will, however... Poison it. Huh, I don't have any hags bane on me. That's unfortunate. Over here. I'm not going to loot them first. That would be. Excuse me. I'm friendly. Don't attack, I just want to talk. All right. I don't really want to do this. That happened.
cabbage. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Right, I'm going to leave that in case any of the other members of the weird need food, I suppose. I'm also going to take their venom, which I can use. And possibly their eyes. Should check in with Melka at some point. I also want to see what's in the rest of this cave a little bit. But I don't want to do it. Where and how they can all see me. So instead, I think... Right. Just keep that at the ready. Want to explore, but I do not want to kill anybody else. She has an altar over there. I'm not going to bother her. Right, a hunting knife isn't going to do me much good. I saw those mushrooms. This time I'm serious, I have mushrooms at home. I should also go home at some point, but... Someone met an untimely end. I am not sure what they were expecting walking into a place like this. No. If I can hear them, I am too close. This is what we call a scouting mission, I think. Oh dear, don't see me. Right, that's enough scouting, I think. At this point, we're just going to go out is this way. Oh, right. I'm also going to just... Take that and perhaps leave something for them. Some ale. That is, I believe, Melka's. So I'm not going to do that. I need to stop by Markarth at some point. Not getting rid of that.
One of those. It's not much of an apology. I probably should have left them some taproot, but... Oh well. Do I... Do I have any... I do. That will make a better apology. Right. It occurs to me that I might smell like Nord. Perhaps I've been around the Companions a bit too long. Anyway. Ooh. Right, we're putting the other armor on. It isn't great, but it's much warmer. Oh, right. I'll also take that off, because I know that they won't take kindly to that. Right. Crook? There you are. Back to white run we go. In the rain. Of course. Has anyone cleaned up that body yet? Looks like it. Shiny trinkets for your good lady. All crafted by the great Aeorlan. They made himself. Oh. That must be his wife. Hello. Dead bodies. Well, this is lovely. These two aren't a problem anymore. Right. What happens? Gods. These two aren't a problem anymore. The Silver Hand. They finally had the nerve to attack your bastard. We got most of them, but I think a few stragglers made it out. I see. Where have you been? Out doing Codlack's bidding. What happened? I hope it was important, because it means you weren't here to defend him. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack Yorvaskar. We fought them off, but the old man, Kotlak, is dead. Was anyone else hurt? No, but they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak, and they will know terror before the end. Oh. Well, great. You know, he was telling me before we left, before I left, that I don't know something about revenge not being noble. I'm with you on this one. Fargus? 
is not talking. And of course there are now bodies scattered all over the place. I hope he's okay. Right, where are we going? We're going to make them pay. Right, but where? Until next time. Suppose you'll lead the way, won't you? Or you'll show me the way. Just up the hill from the fort that I cleared. Well, I suppose that's... That's good. Right, in that case... Crook, you stay here. Well... You and I, then, huh? Make them bleed. Don't leave any of them alive. Don't leave any of them alive. See, I like the way that you two think. Don't leave any of them alive. We got a tour of our... Did you raise your prices, Carlotta? What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> the farmers no. are charging Even double you are my elves. I sell. Let me guess. They're saying it's because of this trouble. When the Empire surrendered to the all-merry exactly. dominion, they shaved us all. I honestly can't care less. Gods. Well, we picked good traveling weather, didn't we? <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Welcome to Skyrim. Put your hood on and the rain immediately stops. Of course. It may be just a momentary break in the weather, we'll see. Sorry for stopping, it's just... Everything always looks so much brighter after a good rain, doesn't it? Hope you're up for a little bit of off-roading, Vilgus. Because that's the only way that I go. He's probably taking the road. That's fine, we both know where we're going. <laughs> 